What's going on, guys? It's Pond back here with part three. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put the map out, export the map out of the game and put it into your Unreal 4. So, I'm going to be doing Die Rise. Um, we're going to be doing a VO2 map today. Um, I'll have all the links to everything you need in the description below. But, um, so first, let's just export it. You're going to need C2M and Greyhound. These are the two exporters. So, let's open up backups. This C2M works for most Black Ops games. So if you have a map you want to export, it should work on here. That's buried. Daraz. So you want to load it into the game. While you're loading it now, you want to open your C2M. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Why me? Travel where? Don't you get it? There's nothing left! Oh, how did you... So what? You load in the map, you what do you mean? The Mend the rift! Well, maybe I don't wanna? Huh? Did you think of and that? Then it just generates the files. Now when oh, this is done, I like opening flesh. Greyhound. Well, I did. And then going into settings, it should be easier to it. Shit. And then... Um, load the game. If you're gonna talk to your imaginary friends, Stu, you might want to wait till you're in a Z-free zone. Stop it, Get over here now! Then you want to export them. Come on, come on! What do we do now? We arm up, find a good place to defend, kick ass, that's it. I'm close this so you guys can hear me a little better. But you just want to export everything out of Greyhound. All good. Got all the files. Oh, nope. Since I closed the game, we got some errors. All right. I'll be right back after I export these again. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I did forget to mention that you need to own a legal copy of the game. Um, you can't use plutonium or anything like that to export maps. But here are all of the files for. There is. Um, I also have the map here, the C2M file. So we're going to travel where? Don't you get it? There's nothing. Okay, left. guys. I realized we were using the wrong C2M. So you... I have the right C2M right here. I will send you guys the right one. But I just want to show you it. Well, maybe yeah, I don't want to. Huh? Did you think of that? Oh, you there you go. You have to press the, the refresh button. Well, I did. They'd kill me if they knew. Oh, and then it starts extracting all the map data. Once that's done, you're going to press the download button. For the export Stu. file. You might want to wait till you're in a Z-free zone. What do we do now? We arm up, find a good place to defend, kick ass, that's it. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Stoinger? Misty made so it pretty clear. It's a tape, just a quick second. Oh, damn. Uh, once it's all done, we can throw this back up. Very well. And then we can also close the C2M. We can open. Okay guys, so now we want to go into Blender, hit edit, go to preferences, and then you want to install the C2M file importer. And uh, this is how we will import the map. So once that's done, you want to import, go down to point C2M, and then you want to find your C2M release, go to the maps, hit die rise. But here, instead of the COD shader, you want to put simple wavefront. If you don't do this, it won't allow your materials to show in the editor. So make sure you hit that and then hit import. Now this will take a minute and I will be right back once it imports fully. Okay guys, I am back. Everything has loaded. Um, I did forget to... Well, next, I'm going to recommend you guys download this 
um, the Blended Data Smith export. It'll be linked down in the uh, description, but you just want to click code, download zip, and then once it's downloaded, you know, just go to edit, preferences, and then install. But I already have installed um, Data Smith, it's right here. Um, you want to make sure you have that. Um, this is the diorized map. We have the lights, the map geo, and then the props. Let's see if the materials have loaded in yet. There's a lot of shaders compiling. So while this does this, we're going to export the lights. So to export these, you want to do them one at a time. There's going to be three different files when you're in Unreal Engine. You want to left click the lights and you want to right click and then select objects. Once it's highlighted, you want to go to file, export, data smith. We're going to call this lights. Now we're going to call it diarize lights dot e data smith and then you want to select the selected objects only. I'm going to put all these on my desktop. But um yeah, you just export and it takes a minute. Okay guys, once it's done, we can hide the lights and then we're going to select the map geo and do the same exact thing. Objects file export data smith and then we're going to name this die rise map geo and then export the data smith okay guys the map geometry just finished loading so after that we're gonna hide the map geo and then do the same thing for the props select them um, Export data smith and this one we will call diarize props and then export. Okay, so the props take the longest. I just found that out. <laughs> Took forever, but um once these are all done you can head into Unreal and we're gonna get the data smith importer. So to get it all you have to do is go to settings, plugins, and type in data smith. And then find the data smith fbx importer and hit enable. Should pop up to restart down here. You just want to restart. Once you restart, your data smith will be up here. Um, all you, to import, all you want to do is click it, go to your files. Let's do the lights first since you have to do the lights differently. So open, we're going to put them in our diverse content, and put it in the maps. And you just want to unclick these two and click lights and then hit import. And then we'll do it again. This time we'll do the map geo. Put it in the map. And then this time you want to have the geometry and material selected. And then we will want to do the same thing one more time for the props. Light, um, geometry, mech, materials, hit import. Now this one's going to take a while. As you can see, there's 921 textures for the props. So by themselves, these are going to import. But in the next video, we're going to work on optimization. We're going to try to get those 921 down to just a couple of textures. All right, I'll be right back once this is done. Okay, guys, so there are 200 com shaders compiling. I did turn off the lights because with the lights on, it lags really badly. But we're going to go into Unlit. And this is the map. Um looks really good um but we do not want to use the kazi kit on this map this is very
very unoptimized. It'll probably break your quest, I want to be totally honest with you. But um, in the next video, we are going to optimize and get this to run on quest. Hopefully, we'll see. But um, as you can see, everything is here. We're going to save it for now. This is going to be badass. Let's put it in the maps. Save. Yes. We are not going to add collision right now because we do not want to use this for our map yet. We will be optimizing the next video. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you check the description for all the links you will need for all the importers, the exporters, and everything. But uh, see you guys next time.